Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. A.T.M. Mustafiz Rahman, Assistant Professor, Department of Surgery, Oshundhara Adin Medical College Hospital. My student, today I uh, present a important topics like scrotal swelling. There are different types of scrotal swelling. The most common scrotal swelling is hernia and hydrocele. Today I discuss about the hydrocele. It is more important in our clinical practice and it is a common issue in our written exam, clinical exam and viva questions. Now I tell the definition of hydrocele. You know hydro means water, seal means cavity. The definition of hydrocele is abnormal accumulation of serous fluid in between the processus vaginalis especially or usually in the tunica vaginalis of the scrotum is called hydrocele. You know there are few ml of serous fluid present in between the tunica vaginalis. Usually 1 to 2 ml of fluid which helps the movement of the testes in its surrounding walls. If fluid is not present in the space, the testis is painful movements. Now, I tell the classification of hydrosis. There are two types of classifications. One is congenital hydrosis, another is acquired hydrosis. The congenital hydrosis is subdivided into different types. One is vaginal hydrocele. It is the most common types of hydrocele. Then another is infantile hydrocele. When upper limits of hydrocele sac is present at the deep ring of the inguinal canal, then it is called infantile hydrocele. Then encysted hydrocele of the cord, it is present surrounding the spermatic cords. Then congenital hydrocele is one of the types of congenital pattern of hydrocele. It is communicating with the peritoneal cavities. It's present since after bath or before bath and another types of hydrocells is congenital hydrocell. Now I tell the another classification of acquired hydrocell. Acquired hydrocell is two types. One is primary or idiopathic. In case of primary or idiopathic hydrocells, the co exact cause of etiology is unknown. So it is called idiopathic hydrocell. Another types of hydrocell is secondary hydrocell. In case of secondary hydrocell, the cause is it is due to the 
testes or epididymis related causes. The secondary hydrocele, the important causes is acute or chronic epididymarchitis. You know the inflammation of testes is called architis and inflammation of the epididymis is called epididymitis. In common things, when testes and epididymis are involved, we call epididymoarchitis. The another cause is torsion of the testes. Testicular torsion is more common in children and young adults. It is a surgical emergency. Another cause is trauma to the testes and tumor of the testes. You know testicular tumor is one of the common cause of death in case of male. About 99% of the testicular tumor is malignant. Only 1% testicular tumor is benign. The other causes of hydrocele in secondary issues is hematocele. When trauma to the testis causes hematoma in between the tunica vaginals. Another causes is filarial hydrocele. Filaria is the one of the common cause of hydrocele in past. Now it is very rare. Post hernioraphy usually when we operate we treat the hernia. Subsequently collection of fluid in between the tunica vaginalis and produce a hydrocele and hydrocele of hernia sac is the one of the cause of secondary hydrocele. Now we tell the diagnosis of hydrocele. Diagnosis of hydrocele is depends upon the clinical history, physical examination and some important investigations. If we a good clinician, we examine the hydrocele and we confirm our diagnosis without any investigations. So, if we routinely examine or take a good history from the patients or patient attendants, we take some message from patient or patient attendant and some clinical signs in case of hydrocele and we diagnosis our patients only by clinical examinations. Now, in case of hydrocele, we take some signs. In case of hydrocele, we take, we uh, found a swelling in the scrotum. Usually it is unilateral, sometimes it may be bilateral. We take but we found a sign get above the soiling. In case of hydrocele, get above the soiling is possible or present. The soiling is globular, soft in consistency, fluctuation test usually present and 
trans illumination test is also present. In case of vaginal hydrocele, the swelling usually present in a scrotum and it is more common hydrocele and it is not painful, it is painless hydrocele. Sometimes hydrocele is sac is inflamed and produce an inflammation and painful. Now if we confused clinically sometimes we do an ultrasound of the scrotum to establish and confirm my diagnosis. In case of confusion or in case of any suspicion to diagnose the patients, sometimes we need sonological helps for confirmation of the diagnosis. Now we tell the complications of hydrocele. There are lot of complications in hydrocele. One of the complications is rupture. One of the complications is infection or inflammations, collection of blood in between the vaginal processus vaginalis or tunica vaginalis called hematocyl and subsequently pyocyl may occurs. Sometimes the calcification of hydrocyl sac is present and uh, sometimes uh, atrophy of the testes is one of the complications of hydrocyl. And another complication is herniation of scrotal layers or sac and produce hernia, hydrocyl in a hernial sac. And sometimes rupture may occur spontaneously. Now I tell the treatment of a hydrocele. The hydrocele treatment is always surgery. If it is more complicated and big in size. The, there are two types of surgery in case of hydrocele and two types of procedures. One is Lord's procedures, another is Jebulis procedures. Now we routinely perform the Jebulis procedures. In case of Lord's procedures, we only incise the hydrocele sac, evacuate the hydrocele fluids and the opening of the sac is plicate. The plications produces persistent opening of tunica vaginalis, so fluids cannot accumulate and subsequently it never produces recurrent hydrocele. In case of Jebulis procedures, we do incision of hydrocele sac, sometimes excision of the sac and then eversion of the sac 
surrounding spasmodic cops. It is more routinely performed in our day to day practice and in once upon a time aspiration of the hydrocell fluid is performed now it is not done it is obsolete due to some complications like infection of tunica vaginalis the what types of anesthesia we will do in case of hydrocell surgery in case of hydrocell surgery we routinely we commonly perform the anesthesia under spinal anesthesia sometimes we do general anesthesia and in case of spinal and general anesthesia is not suitable for the patients we perform under local anesthesia in the region of the scrotum now sometimes we tell the questions in case of or difference between the hydrocele and hernia hernia is an swelling which arises from the abdominal cavity or above to down in case of hydrocele the swelling starts from below or bottom of the scrotum and it moves above towards the superficial ring and deep rings the region of hernia it occupied the inguinal scrotal regions or inguinal or scrotal inguinal scrotal regions in case of hydrocele it is commonly in the scrotal regions in case of hernia get above the swelling not possible or absent in case of hydrocele get above the swelling is possible the redu reducibility test and in case of hernia hernia is usually reducible but hydrocele is irreducible consistency is variable but in case of hydrocele it is cystic in consistency fluctuation test is positive in case of hydrocele but absent in case of hernia and transillumination test is negative in case of hernia but positive in case of hydrocele now i conclude the today topics of hydrocele i take the message to my students you will read your clinical books and take the good informations and additional information to your clinical books and i concluded i thanks my students or viewers to take my message and i thanks all the students thank you thank you assalamu alaikum